Hi guys, we are finally gonna talk about the mop. Everybody loves the mop or everybody is curious about the mop, okay? I think it's the one thing everybody wants the most from Norwex is the mop. Okay, so I like to tell people when I got the mop, I hated it. I absolutely hated it and I was like, how can five million people love this mop and I hate it? I kept pushing through, I used it a couple more times, I was sweating, my arms would hurt, my back hurt, I was literally dying, dying. So finally, I called my upline and I'm like, do you like this mop or do you just pretend you do? And she's like, no, I love it, why? What's going on? So I explained to her and then she started laughing and she's like, you are way overthinking this mop thing and you're not letting the mop do what it's supposed to do. So she explained it to me. I kept going to this consultant page and reading about it. And I'm like, oh, okay. Now I know why I hated the mop because I'm way overdoing it, okay? Now the mop is by far my favorite item. It has literally, saved, not saved my life, but saved so much time. And like yesterday, um, I had a really bad, well, my whole, my floors need to be done, but I'm like, I only have like 10 minutes. I gotta get out of here. I have shit to do. And I'm like, it's Norwex. I grabbed my tile mop pad. I wrung it out quick, got it wet, wrung it out, put it on. I did my little areas I wanted to do. It was like three minutes and it was done. And I'm like, why? You can just do this all the time. It's that easy. So there's a few things you need to remember is the microfiber is doing the cleaning. Okay, not the water, not your arms and pushing it, the microfiber is doing the cleaning, okay? This mop pad holds seven times its weight in water, okay? So part of my problem was, I felt like my floors weren't wet enough. I'm used to splish splashing, okay? And my floors are wet for half an hour, right? So that was my biggest problem was, it's not really wet, but the microfiber is doing the cleaning, okay? so. And it's literally just slide right through mopping. The first few times, it probably took about eight, I don't know, eight to 10 times. And it was kind of rough pushing it, not rough, but it just kind of jerked along the way. And then after I got the coating off my floor from five years of chemicals, now it just glides right across my floor, okay? So the first few times might be a little bumpy and whatever, it's normal. It's getting all that chemical off your floor. So my floors are only five years old and I had a lot of buildup. Yeah. And I thought my floors still look brand new. They didn't. They had this coating on it. So after I started using this for two months, I'm like, my floors literally look brand new again. I have a customer. Her floors are from 1985, her original farmhouse. Um, crappy linoleum, she started using this mop. After three times, her ugly linoleum came back to life. Yep, it's that amazing. Not kidding, okay? So, you can buy this mop two ways. You can buy it in the package deal, which is great. You get these two mop heads with it. Love them, they're fine, they're great. I shouldn't say they're fine, they're good, okay? For some reason, I have um, vinyl planking floors, so this should have been great for me. I just didn't love it. And it might just be in my head, but I had ordered the tile mop pad to have on hand, um, just to show customers and for shows or whatever. And then one day when I was still hating the mop, I decided to try this. Well, this was part of the reason why I, I love the tile mop pad. Matt, tile mop pad. I highly recommend this for everybody, no matter what floor you have. I promise you, you will love it. It just gets in the grooves, I think, a little bit better. Has a little bit more um, texture, I think, so it cleans a little bit better. And my floors aren't real dirty. You know, it's just me and my husband and two dogs and my 18-year-old daughter. So we don't get real bit dirty here. But, okay, if you are a hairdresser or um, have pets, the Chanel Chanel mop pad, dry mop pad is the way to go, okay? You will love this baby, love it. Okay, 
I was kind of naive when I bought this and and everything did stick to it, okay? But I still had a pile. So I was like, why do I have a pile? I thought this baby picked everything up. And they're like, well, it's not magic. It's not a vacuum. So yes, you still need to pick up a pile, but you won't believe what is on here. See, you will save, most of it's on here, but you do have a pile, okay? So don't be naive like me that this was totally magic and sucked it in here, okay? So when you have this baby full, okay? So you get done sweeping. Um, you just take it right over your garbage can, go like this. That's why the rubber brush is a must. Not just for your um, dusting mitt, but for this and for so many things. You guys, it was like 50 uses I just posted about this, okay? So, but this works great and it's a lifesaver, trust me. It's gonna cut back on washing, all that. Okay, now, ooh. now this, you know, I probably wash this about every three to five times. Probably more like three, okay? Now, my wet one, I don't wash as much. You know why? Because when I'm done using it, um, again, my dogs. Um, I love them and they're full of snow. So if I would have been, I should have got out my pet mitt so I can show you how I wipe off their paws and how great that works for not tracking in my house. But I thought about it right at the last, I could still do it, but you don't want to be here all day. Okay. So do I wash this very often? No, I don't. You know why? Because when I'm done, I just put it in my sink and I run the water over it. And while I'm running it, I just go like this with this rubber brush and it almost looks like brand new again, okay? So I don't wash this all the time. Maybe if I mop twice a week, which I probably don't, probably once a week. Um, I probably wash this probably every six weeks, maybe, maybe a month, okay? Not very often. And also you can, this is the window, okay? So like that magic butter demo I showed you, they have a window one, you guys. So, not only does our mop lock into place here, so you can lock this into place, so then you can attach this, and then you can extend it and go do your windows, okay, outside, you can do your windows. How great is that? Okay, awesome, right? But you wanna know what else this baby's great for? Let's say you have hardwood floors, or like a shiny floor. When you're done mopping, you put this on, and it polishes and shines it. You should see it sparkle. Again, there's a picture. If you look through all my photos I post, you'll see a picture of that, and it's awesome. It's a game changer if you have hardwood floors. Huge, okay? So, I still, I wanna try this on my floors to see what it does, and I just haven't yet. I just need to take the extra four minutes and do it, okay? But remember, all you need is water and a mop pad. These mop pads, how long do they last? 10, 15 years, really. They really do. My girlfriend just replaced her um, wet mop pad after 10 years, and the only reason she replaced it was because the Velcro wore off. 10 years. So is this an investment? It is, but you only need water, and these mop pads last forever, unless you just wanna try a new one, right? How great is that? It's pretty great. So when you think about it, it is less expensive in the long run, very less. And it is so safe, and if you have pets or kids, on your floor, you don't have to worry about them putting chemicals in their mouth. That's worth every penny of it, isn't it? And you'll have the cleanest floors you've ever seen. It's a whole new clean. I'm not even kidding. If you wanna borrow my mop, I will borrow you my mop for a week, and I want you to do that. Please, I borrowed it out, and everyone that's borrowed it fell in love and ordered one. They couldn't live without it till theirs came. They wanted to keep mine. Yeah, not kidding. All right, so let's learn a little bit more about this, okay? I'm trying to make this fast. You guys don't have to, okay. Everybody that buys this mop, except for one person, no, two now, two, um, have called me and said, my mop doesn't work, it's defective, the handle doesn't go up and down, I need a replacement. No, you don't. Here's the problem. Right here, it says open and close, okay? So everybody thinks you twist, it. turn right here, okay? One guy even took a wrench, or pliers, whatever, and went here. Yep, to try to get it. He almost had a heart attack grabbing this, okay? It's not where you do it, okay? Here is where you do it. It's very deceiving. So, sorry. Okay, so you stand on it, okay? Twist here. Look at up and down, up and down, okay? Oh, where was I standing before? That was a good spot. 
Okay, so up and down, like I said. So you want a chin height, so you're not hurting your back, right? You don't have to move, bend over, you can stand up and walk, okay? Very simple. Drop it on the floor. And what you can also do is you can off-center it. You can either put it right in the center or you can off-center it, okay? Then you have this extra space when you're going against mop boards and stuff and you can push it up against your mop boards. How great is that, okay? So, then you just go around. Some people do the, um, they recommend the circle eights. I don't always do the circle eights because I struggle with them, to be honest. Um, I'll do a little uh, quickie here, see if I can get some, I don't have a lot of pen hair, or so I like to think I don't. I got a lot of crumbs though. Okay, so there's my little pile of crumbs and let's see what we got on this. The green one was way um, better to see, but I got glitter, I got hair. I don't know if you can see the glitter. I got crumbs. Um, so everything does stick nice to this, but like I said, the green one, I should have put the green one on. Um, green is the old color and it was a lot easier for you guys to see what I all had in my mop thing here, but okay. Then when you want to take it off, I just stand on it like the corners of the thing, rip it off like that. Again, it has a tag to rinse it out and um, let it hang, okay? What is on here does not fall off, okay? Until you get it over the garbage can and you brush it off, okay? Now, another great thing is that you have to put it down is this little silly knobby here. Oh, I forgot to grab something. Okay, this little silly knobby here has a purpose. It is for, you get done mopping and you have to get out of your room and you don't want to set your wet mop down. It sits on the counter. How great is that? That's what it's for, to sit on your counter. Great, it's not on my floor, okay? Not on the floor. Ooh, if I knock it over, it will be. This little knobby is great. If your floor is already wet, it's gonna ski. So if it's dry and you see a scuff mark or ketchup that's really stuck on, you take this knobby and you go like this, okay? And it'll scrape it right off. It's great. But I had just got, finally, I've been saying this for three months, I was gonna get the, they have little tiny Enviro cloths, a travel pack. So, um, and I just haven't done it yet, is I'm gonna take one of them and put it over this, get it wet when I mop, put it over this, put the rubber band, and then my Enviro cloth will be on here too. I think that'll rub. I mean, this works good, but I just think that'll work better. Um, so that's another little nice feature about this, okay? And again, this does lock. Okay, let's get the mop pad ready here. Does it pick up sticky stuff? Absolutely. I did a video, I'll try to find it. It's just a little clip where I put jelly, honey, applesauce, I don't remember, I put like four or five things on the floor, peanut butter, and I mopped over it. It came right up, like two swipes, it was all up. Could I continue and go on the rest of my floor? Yes, and it did not transfer, it stayed in the microfibers. It was crazy. Floor wasn't sticky, it came right up, I kept mopping. Okay, so how many times do you have to wet this tile mop, or your mop pad, okay? Well, it just depends on how dirty your house is. Um, and how big, obviously. So I have a 3,000 square foot house and I have no carpet, okay? So I usually wet it two to three times. You also can use a spray bottle. I usually get through my kitchen and a little bit of my hallway and then I feel like I need more water. So what do I do? I was, the first couple times I re-wet it and I'm like, oh, that's kind of, not a hassle, but so I thought, I'm gonna use a squirt bottle. And then I just spray, mop, squirt a little bit more, mop, etc., etc. That works, it's very handy. But now, the last few times, I've been just re-wetting it again. So I'll do half my house, or probably 40% of my house, 30% of my house. I come back, re-wet it, and then do the rest, okay? Um, and I can walk back to my sink, because where I already mopped is already dry, yep. It dries like in two to four minutes, okay? If you get this baby too wet, 
you will know, and that's when you'll get the streaky floors, okay? If it's too wet, it flip flops, it's flippies all over. It's gonna make you annoyed. It will also flip flop if, and then you wanna wring this out really, really good. Ring it out really good, okay? So it'll also flip flop if it's too dry, but normally it's gonna be because it's too wet. Ooh. So you bring this out good, or you're gonna have streaks. Um, what was I gonna say? Remember, this baby holds seven times its weight in water. And also remember, the microfiber is doing the cleaning. Not the water, and not you pushing it. So you don't need to push with all your might. If it hurts, you're doing it wrong, Tanya. I mean, I literally had sweat beads, and I don't sweat, okay? So you wring it out nice and good, okay? Um, usually don't take that long, but I'm talking. So, then again, you just drop it on the floor. I'm gonna dry off my hands. Again, you can off-center this, and then you're wet, you can run across your baseboards or trim, okay? So you can either center it or off center it and then it'll flip up nice against your boards, okay? So like that, I stand on the silver part. Again, you twist on the top part, not below. Twist up to your chin and then mop, okay? So just nice, easy, literally this simple. Okay, can you see me? Just mop. Just nice, easy, smooth, just walk through your house, literally just like this. And it's done, and you will not believe how much dirt it has picked up by just doing that. This was clean. I don't even wanna know how dirty it is already. Oh, and also, I forgot some crumbs, and I forgot some hair, because I didn't go all the way over there. So, you can see the dirt, I can see some hair, there's a crumb somewhere in here. So if your dry mop had didn't pick something up or you were in a hurry and didn't get it all, this thing also will pick up more crumbs and grossness, okay? Why it's mopping. It's fabulous. Again, take this off when you're done, rinse it out. If you have the rubber brush, brush which I highly recommend, scrape it good, hang to dry. It will self-purify. This is getting rid of 99% of the germs on your floors and it's making your floors sparkly clean. Um, I hope I didn't forget something, but I always do. And then I'm like, darn it. So, oh, what I was gonna say earlier is, okay, so the mop comes in a set, but let's say you decide you wanna do the chenille and the um, tile mop pad and the, this, um, and the rubber brush, sorry. You can buy it separate. But um, in January, we just switched the catalog and now they have a package that comes with the rubber brush, which was super, super smart, okay? So you can buy the mop with the brush or without the brush. I recommend the little extra money for the brush because you will be ordering it. Everybody does, okay? But um, either you can order this and then order like the tile mop pad separate still, and then you would have extra mop pads. Okay, you know, you'd have three mop pads on, okay? Or you can order just the base, um, the handle, the base, and then order the two mop pads you want, if they aren't in this set, and the rubber brush. Is it a little bit more money to do it that way? Yes, it is. But if you wanna be happy, or like I said, 95% of people love these, okay? I'm one of the few that just prefer the tile one and the chenille one, okay? It's personal preference. Um, so there's your options, you can buy it as a set, or you can mix and match and do what you want, okay? If you buy the set and mix and match down the road, in a month you buy the tile one, great! Then you have an extra mop pad that's gonna last you 10, 15 years, right? Awesome. Okay, I hope you guys learned something about the mop. Uh, if you have any questions about the mop or anything Norwex, please ask me, because that's why I'm here, okay? Thank you guys.